um, how about those who never became Muslim? What, you know, um, like why didn't, where, why weren't they gifted with Islam? Like, what did they do to deserve to not be gifted with Islam? Now we're asking questions that are getting way beyond my pale of, uh, uh, of ability to answer. But I can very simply tell you that the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide people is the same reason why He does guide people. It's with Him alone. That knowledge is with Him alone. That knowledge is with Him alone. Maybe Sheikh Haytham could elaborate better than that. But Allah knows why He does not guide. This is why the Prophet والسلام, said, Whomsoever Allah guides cannot be misguided. And whomsoever Allah leads astray cannot be guided but except but by Him. Allah chooses His guidance for whom He wills. And He chooses misguidance for whomsoever he wills. And he best knows that. He best knows that. And this gets into issues. This is an, an area where I behoove Muslims not to go too deep into is the issues of Qadr. This is an issue where many Muslims have gone astray and lost their aqidah based upon this issue. Yes, Shaykh Haytham. Please, we, 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 we have with us someone who can answer all of it. I don't even know why you're asking me questions. Fahad, you shouldn't have never even put me on a Q&A session with this man in the room. Yes, if you allow me, uh, Sheikh. Uh, uh, brothers. Yeah, if you allow me, Sheikh. Five. Um, I, I know this is a, a very a sensitive issue to be explained, but please listen carefully. The Sheikh, Jazallahu Khairan, he was speaking from an Adab perspective. So the, from an Adab perspective, yes, we believe that Allah Jalla Ala guides whom he wills to guide. Yes, from an Adab perspective, we believe that Allah Jalla Ala guides whom He wills to guide. But also, from a technical perspective, from a Qadr perspective, yes, if we just leave it up to that point, then we will, as the sister uh, asked, we might think that Allah Jalla Ala is being unjust. And He selected people to guide them and the other people, he did not select them to guide them, just arbitrary. And this means that Allah is what? Is unjust. He selected people and he just sends them to paradise. He selects other people and he sends them to hellfire and they have no choice. Yeah, they have no choice, though they have no power. But Allah Jalla wa Ala, okay, Proved in the Quran that that you earn things. بما كسبت أيديكم والله خلقكم وما تعملون. So he added earning to us, which means that we as human beings earn. We choose. So Allah جل وعلا guides those whom He knows that they want guidance. So actually. They wanted guidance, so Allah Jalla wa Ala added their guidance. That's why Allah Jalla wa Ala says, طيب, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَاتَّقَى وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَى فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى The one who gives and he believes, we will guide him more and more. So initially the person himself, what? Uh, initially the person himself, what? Yes, wanted guidance. Wanted guidance. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَى فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى وَأَمَّا مَنْ بَخِلَ وَاسْتَغْنَى وَكَذَّبَ بِالْحُسْنَى فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْعُسْرَى And this summarizes it. And the one who doesn't want guidance, يعني internally, he doesn't want guidance. He didn't put any effort internally. So Allah will abandon him and Allah will leave him alone. Is it clear? So the first one, he deserves guidance because what? 
he did something although little to get guidance so Allah guided him and the other person didn't want guidance he turned away okay so Allah Jalla turned away from him that's why Allah Jalla says فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا uh -huh. what is the ayah أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ when they turned away Allah Jalla Ala what uh -huh. turned away turned away from them more and more yes وَيَزِيدُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْا هُدَى those who were guided initially yes they want guidance Allah Jalla Ala increases their guidance and this summarizes the issue of what of Iman bil qada wal qadr again please brothers and sisters sorry for to, to take much of your time the, the issue is initially the person wanted guidance and he did something by his heart to get guidance Allah will give him more and more the person the other person the disbeliever internally although Allah created in his heart belief in him and submission to him he rejected that yes so he turned away from Allah then Allah as a result turned away from him because Allah is so just and Allah gave opportunities for all of us equal opportunities for all of us Jazakumullah khair